Item Number SCP-009-DE Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Newly discovered specimens of SCP-009-DE-1 are to be torn down as soon as possible. MTF-DE-9-T Tankwort, is currently monitoring social networks and is investigating reports about vehicles under the influence of SCP-009-DE-2 to locate and destroy new specimens. Specimens that are contained for research purposes do not require any maintenance. Except for tests, no motor may be operated filled with SCP-009-DE-2. SCP-009-DE-1 describes a series of automated petrol stations. Instances of SCP-009-DE-1 appear spontaneously on the territory of the Federal Republic of Germany. See Addendum 009-DE-2. All instances of SCP-009-DE-1 have the same appearance and have the same components. One unit consists of a price mast, three petrol pumps, each with a customer terminal, up to two hoses and nozzles and a roof. Various products and services are advertised on all components of SCP-009-DE-1. The design of SCP-009-DE-1's customer terminal differs from that of conventional devices. All credit and bank cards are accepted without exception, as long as they are approved and adequately covered. It is also possible to use cash of any internationally recognized currency for payment. The device works otherwise like a usual customer terminal. SCP-009-DE-1 has a large selection of fuels, here and after collectively referred to as SCP-009-DE-2, some of which are normally not available in the Federal Republic of Germany. The SCP-009-DE-1 dispensers can dispense all offered variants of SCP-009-DE-2 without measurable impurities, although each of them has only two hoses and nozzles. However, it seems that if Petrol Pump 1 only delivers diesel fuels, while Petrol Pump 2 provides all other fuels, with the exception of a significantly higher density, all types of SCP-009-DE-2 are physically and chemically identical to their non-anomalous counterparts. SCP-009-DE-2 powered engines that are not used for locomotion start up, but the engine stops almost immediately. Vehicle engines operate with SCP-009-DE-2, on the other hand, show increased performance initially, but side effects occur with continuous use. These side effects gradually affect the vehicle in three stages. Stage 1 One to two weeks after the first use of SCP-009-DE-2, the engine power drops back to the normal level. The weight of the vehicle increases slightly. Stage 2 Three to five weeks after the onset of Stage 1, engine performance drops to a below-average level. Dents start to form on the surface of the vehicle, increasing its mass. Stage 3 Four to six weeks after the onset of Stage 2, engine performance drops even further. Engine, air conditioning, and vehicle electronics becomes acceptable to malfunctions. The bumps expand and start to cover headlights and intake openings. During this process, the mass of the vehicle continues to increase, until either the intake openings are completely covered, the chassis collapses under the weight or, in the case of a watercraft, its buoyancy is no longer sufficient to keep it afloat. The highest weight ever documented was reached by a Bell AZ-75710 large dump truck and was measured at 1,598.3 tons. The duration of each stage varies between vehicles. In addition, SCP-009-DE-2 side effects can be prevented by driving the vehicle a lot and transporting heavy loads with it. If an affected vehicle is operated with fuel other than SCP-009-DE-2 for a sufficient period of time, it will gradually return to its standard state. The reversion takes place in all cases, no matter what stage the vehicle is in. However, should such a vehicle be operated again, with SCP-009-DE-2, the side effects set in much faster and more violently. Another way to neutralize the side effects is to replace affected parts with unaffected ones. However, these new parts will also be affected by SCP-009-DE-2 side effects if they are used to continue to operate the vehicle afterwards.
instances of SCP-009-DE-1 appear on busy roads at night, without warning. Typical places of appearance are rest stops or vacant lots. The materialization process has never been documented, since the time and the exact location of their occurrence are impossible to predict at the moment. Once they have appeared, they remain in their place indefinitely. It is also possible to find several instances in one place, probably to serve a larger number of customers at the same time. SCP-009-DE-1 attracts customers by adjusting the price of all of its fuels so that they are significantly cheaper at any time than any other gas station within a 60km radius. If a copy suffers damage that does not render the customer terminal and both petrol pumps unusable, it will return to its original condition within one nanosecond at midnight. If a specimen is damaged to such an extent that its customer terminal and both petrol pumps are no longer functional, it loses all of its anomalous properties. To date, the investigation of contained specimens has provided only limited information. It is unknown how SCP-009-DE-1 gathers information about fuel prices, which bank receives the funds that are transferred to its customer terminal, and where it obtains SCP-009-DE-2 from, since no destroyed instance so far had an underground tank. It was also not possible to find out how cash leaves the customer terminal. Coin-shaped GPS trackers which are inserted into the coin slot of SCP-009-DE-1's customer terminal, simply remain in it and, in contrast to real coins, can be recovered when the terminal is destroyed. Addendum 009-DE-1 Newly discovered specimens of SCP-009-DE-1 are now able to output electricity for electric vehicles and have a corresponding device in each petrol pump. The electricity designated SCP-009-DE-3, has the same anomalous properties as SCP-009-DE-2. Where SCP-009-DE-1 gets its electricity from is unknown. Addendum 009-DE-2 Observations show that the rate at which new instances of SCP-009-DE-1 appear has been increasing steadily in recent years. There are now SCP-009-DE-1 sightings in several Western and Central European countries, as well as Canada and the United States. <laughs>